Hey, what's up you guys? It's Sydney and today I'm going to be filming a haul video and this video is going to be super casual. I'm in my comfy sweatshirt. It is late at night and I'm very, very tired and my hair was kind of gross so I put it in these braids. Um, brief announcement before we get started. Yesterday or probably by now two days ago for you, I launched my website and it's so weird to say that I have a website. I made it myself and it basically just has like pictures of my makeup stuff that I do. It has, I do makeup like I'm kind of like a mini makeup artist or wannabe makeup artist. So I have like prices and stuff if you're like in the local area. And I'm so so happy with how it turned out. I worked really hard on it so if you want to check that out it is just sydneyjills.com. I will write it right here. sydneyjills.com and t let me know what you think about it. Um, yeah, okay, I'm so tired, I'm so sorry. Let's get on with the haul. We're gonna start with music because I love these. These are my babies, my pride and joy, and I love them with all of my soul. First, I'm starting with Alabama Shakes. I'm so sorry. This is, um, all of these products, by the way, these are the ones that I got in Chicago. So this was at a record store in Chicago. It was called Reckless Records, I'm pretty sure. Reckless Records. This is the Alabama Shakes Boys and Girls album. It is so, so prime. My favorites are Hold On and I Found You and Rise to the Sun. Yeah, those are my favorites. Such a great album. If you haven't listened to Alabama Shakes before, I highly recommend it. Next, I have The Smiths' Strange Ways Here We Come. This is a fantastic album and my favorite song on here is Girl... Oh my god. Girlfriend in a coma. And it's, once again, 10 out of 10. Next, we have some Beach House. This is Bloom. This is not their newest album. This is like their second to newest album, I think. This is so good. It's so chill. Great if you want to take a nap. Um, my favorites are The Hours and Other People. Yeah, those are my two faves. And this is so pretty. This is so, like, lovely to look at. Last but not least for records, I have A Wonder. This is, I think it's just called A Wonder. And it's so good. So, so great. And I don't know what to show, tell you. Listen to their music. It's great. All right, now for clothes. I have two outerwear pieces. First, I have this green jacket from Urban Outfitters. It is the brand Silence and Noise. It looks like this. It's like, it has the style of a bomber, but it's like knit and soft. And this was $60, but I got it on sale for $9.99. Thank you, Urban Outfitters. I love this, and it's surprisingly very warm. Next for jackets, I have this beauty. This is the Adidas, like, jacket. It's just, like, a sweat jacket for sporty people who do sports. Not me, but, um, yeah, I love it. It is so cute, so comfortable, and I throw it on top of most things. I wear it probably too often, but it is so cute, and I just love it. And I didn't really say, but I got that at the Adidas store in Chicago, the Water Tower building thing. Next is H&M. I first got this like button up striped shirt. This is just like a normal button up and I got it in like a kind of big size. It's like a US 8 or something so like it's kind of loose and I can like tuck it into my boyfriend jeans or whatever. And it's pretty and I love this like baby blue type of color. Next I got some knitwear. You know me and my knitwear obsession. This is such a great sweater. I bought this and I like tried it on and I was like oh it's just gonna be a normal whatever sweater but it's so cute it's like gray you probably can't see it it's a gray crew deck sweater it's kind of long it is so comfy and it has like a little bit of a design you probably cannot see that at all but it's affordable and their knitwear feels so high quality so it's great cheap and amazing last for the clothes I got this little robe thing from H&M kind of makes me look like a hoe, but I'm not. 
um it's so comfortable and it's like light and satiny and honestly when i got it i was like kind of just wanted to treat myself i thought it was super cute and it makes me feel like really cute when i'm not like fresh out of the shower i'm like wow i look all pretty in this pretty satin thing that isn't victoria's secret and it was like cheap once again happy okay last thing i'm gonna grab from h&m i got this keychain this is a little puff ball. I have so many of these and this is a navy color because I felt the need to buy so many even though one is honestly enough because you only need like one on your bag but navy is so cute and it's so soft and it has like these little charms which I thought were cute. I got two things from Topshop. First I got these really cute shoes. They were on sale. They went from $95 to $30 because you know I'm so thrifty and they're these lace up like flat type of things and they lace up like around your ankle with all this like a few times and it just looks so cute and obviously I can't wear them right now because it's freezing cold but they are so so cute and I'm so pumped to wear them in the summer and I got another keychain surprise surprise and this one's white and I thought it was really cute I love them so much. Quickly, we're gonna go hardcore nerd just for like a quick second. So we went to the Art Institute of Chicago and I bought some postcards. I got this one which is a Claude Monet painting. He's my favorite artist, if you're wondering, it probably doesn't matter. But I just love his work. It's so pretty and just, I don't know, pretty. I wanna see his house so bad. His house is so cute. And then I also got this photograph. This is not a painting. And this is by Richard Prince. And I just think it's so pretty. Like, I don't even know, but I always find myself looking at it. Like, it's just so pretty pleasing to the eye and I stick these on my little wall with all my Polaroids and stuff and it's just so pretty to look at so I got a little bit I'm like a little bit of an art hoe just a little bit so all that stuff is from my Chicago trip so the rest of it is not at all these are, these are just some beauty things that I bought I made an order from Limelight by Alcone and this is a brand that I'm very new to one of my like mom's friends recommended it or something and they have skincare and makeup. So I got the Calm Balm, which is a face, like a light moisturizer type thing. And their whole thing is that everything's very like or organic. Yeah, organic, natural, non-commodogenic, no fragrance, no color. So just like really high quality stuff. And it's not that expensive. So I got that. I got this face mask. And it's called The Mask of Zen. And then I got a face wash, but it was back ordered, so it's on its way. And then I got this really great liquid lipstick. This is called the Enduring Lip Color in the color Macaroon. It is what I have on right now. And it's so, so great. It lasts all day, and it's not drying whatsoever, but it's like a little bit sticky. Like, it's not completely transfer proof, but I still really like it. And then I got... A concealer this is called their perfect concealer I think and it actually works really well I use it under my eyes I've only used it like once or twice but it didn't crease which is great and then I got this plain brown eyeshadow just because I wanted to try it out and all of this was ordered online so I didn't know what I would actually like but it's great it's just like a basic eyeshadow and I think that's it for my haul okay so that is it for my haul video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give this video a big thumbs up leave any video suggestions or comments you have in the comments below and once again please check out my website sydneyjills.com I would really appreciate your feedback on that and I will see all of you beautiful biscuits next week bye Girlfriend in a coma, I know, I know it's serious Friend in a coma, I know, I know, it's really sick. Can you tell I'm like falling asleep while I'm talking? I'm like dying.